going on? How y'all doing? So the video going to be about Othell Wallace, the black dude in uh, Daytona Beach who stood his ground against that white cop. And you know, it's funny and sad. I saw the chief of uh, Daytona Beach. He's shucking and cooning. Sell out. Whatever that turkey name. He called Othell Wallace. He called him a coward. He love black folks against black folks, you know. Just because you got a little badge, a little position, you, you think you in. But when you were that black dude in the streets and they're going to fire at you, and it has happened, there have been black officers, there have been black personnel in very affluent positions who've been racially profiled. But when you, you shucking and going, yes, a massive boss, yes, a boss, suddenly you, you're like, well, he's a coward. Was he a coward because he was defending himself? Cop comes up to his car door and could cap him. They don't have to give no badge to honor. They don't taser you. They shoot you first. They shoot you three, four times. See, little old sellout jive turkey uh, chief don't know nothing about George Floyd. Don't know nothing about Breonna Taylor. Don't know. This cat, Othello Wallace, was doing what George Zimmerman got off of doing with Trayvon Martin. Am I right? Stand your ground. Am I right? Is Florida not stand your ground? How do you know what that cop's intention was? How do you know? Let me tell you something. If Wallace don't do nothing, chances are he's got a cap in him. And you have another case. But I got to remember something. All of them in blue, white or black, no matter what the race is, if you kill black folks, they will turn the other way and they don't care. I do not see enough black officers speaking out against racial profiling. They don't care because they, they sold out. They're comfortable because they got their uniform on. They don't care about black folk. If they did, they would stand and speak about the integrity. You know, if you're going to be associated with something, you got to speak out against it if it's wrong. And they don't do it. And some of them are worse than the white ones. And you know the white ones are just as quick to join the Klan openly. Anyway. Othel Wallace was standing his ground. Who knows what would have happened. If he hadn't had his peace. And this cop. Because what's a suspicious car? No your skin is suspicious. That's what happens though. And you see it unfold. It's going to be interesting how this case turned out. And they had a big time reward to capture him over 200,000 they found him in Atlanta. And he was part of a black group originally, then he got kicked out, but he was part of a black group that protested against police brutality. But you know what it says in America. You can't be black and have nothing nice because you're going to definitely be questioned and they're definitely going to mess with you. Those are just the rules. Those are just the rules. So, Othell Wallace, he was standing his ground it's unfortunate that cop got shot. However, when you're black and a white officer approaches you, you don't have a lot of time because they're not going to treat you the same. You already know how the game is in America with three Ks. Please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And, uh, you know, they want this because they just don't care about black folks. And the sad part is some of them black chiefs and them people that work there are the worse. All right, catch them all.